when you're trying to figure out what size runtime license to purchase for Factor Talk Optics, there are a few bundled uh, options, you know, based on the number of feature tokens. So at first, you know, you could just look up the catalog number and determine how many feature tokens you need for your application. So for Factor Talk Optics, you know, to actually deploy the runtime, you would need the Factor Talk Optics runtime license. And again, it's sold in bundles by the number of tokens. So uh, I'm inside of Proposal Works right now, and just looking at those options for Factor Talk Optics runtime, um, they they kind of call them light, extra small, light small, standard medium, standard large, Pro XL, as well as a Pro Unlimited, which would give you um, unlimited you know tokens essentially. But they kind of are uh, sold in tiers, you know, going from five tokens up to 21 tokens and then the unlimited. Um, but how do you know how many tokens um, you're going to need? I also wanna show you if, you, if you're not in Proposal Works, you can also see the, um, the, the Factor Talk Optics Runtime uh, license options inside of the Rockwell Automation Software Portal. If you go into the Software Portal, we can see Factor Talk Optics Runtime Extra Small with five feature tokens, either a perpetual or subscription option available. Um, the small, which gives you eight tokens, medium for 11, large for 15, and extra large with 21. But again, we don't maybe we don't know how many tokens we need um, before you develop your application. So there is a way to estimate that. And if you go into Factor Talk Hub, um, which basically uh, you can log in with your standard Rockwell um, login. You don't have to have any special entitlements or licenses to, to log into the hub other than just having a, an account. And then if you go into the optics section, and again, you don't have to have an entitlement to come to this point of Factor Talk Optics. The only time you would have to have an entitlement would be is if you wanted to open the studio editor inside of your browser here in the cloud that would require the factory talk optics studio pro subscription to be able to access this in the in the cloud but you can come into this part of optics uh, with no entitlements and you can download optics studio to your desktop and run it on your desktop uh, all, all all from here um, but if you wanted to get an idea of what you know how many tokens you might need for your application, you're going to come up here to runtime sizing um, to start to work through a little bit of a, a wizard, so to speak, that can help guide you into how many tokens you're going to need beforehand. So uh, first step will be the, the presentation engine. How are you going to um, present? Is it going to be the native HMI client, which would take one token to, uh, to do? Or are you going to uh, have some web HMI clients? And then based on the number of sessions, concurrent sessions you might actually need for those web HMI clients, you would choose either one, three, five, 10, 20, or unlimited. And notice that as I kind of check these, uh, a little running total starts to uh, show up here at the top. So right now I've checked you know, native HMI client and a single web HMI client session so that it's going to take two tokens at the moment, and it's recommending you're in the extra small, because that would be a five token package. But we're gonna keep on going, probably gonna have some more tokens, obviously, to add. Uh, if we hit the next, we will get to our features. These are the various features that uh, we can turn on or use inside of Optics. So some of the features that will you know, take a token to unlock Things like alarming, recipes, uh, Active Directory authentication, basic reporting, uh, audit signature capture, runtime retentivity, event logger, data logger, um, store and forward capabilities. And then we have some options for database. So we have the kind of a, a standard uh, embedded database inside of Optics, basically a SQLite uh, database. Um, or we can choose to have connections to ODBC uh, databases and basically by the number of connections we might need 
our tokens will will kind of tear up. So we have um, one, three, or five connections, or again, we have an option for unlimited here um, if we want to use the unlimited runtime license. Uh, we also have a, the new, you know, came about in, uh, in one of the last releases of Optics is the InfluxDB. So we have the ability to enable an embedded InfluxDB database for one token, or we can choose the same like number of remote connections, be it one, three, five, or even unlimited, uh, each costing a few tokens more. All right. So as we continue to check things, we see now we're at four tokens. We're still under, you know, in our um, in our light, uh, extra small sizing. Um, but if I were to turn on things like data logger and alarming, you'll see that we now have bumped up into six, and that brings us up to the small uh, runtime light license. Go ahead and uh, choose next. Now we're going to choose our connect, our connections or our PLC uh, communication drivers that we might need to um, use. So uh, if we're doing Rockwell communications, then if we're going to talk to just a single controller, that does take one token. If we're going to use multiple connections for multiple controllers, then that will take two tokens. Notice that there is a token buyback basically, if we are running optics on a piece of Rockwell hardware. So if you're running an optics panel, or if you're running it on, a, on one of Rockwell's awesome industrial PCs, um, or the embedded compute module, or even the, the new optics edge device, then we will actually get one token back um, uh, as a credit for using Rockwell hardware. Other options we have available is uh, Beckoff, you know, single, multiple, and even a uh, token to do runtime uh, tag uploads. Uh, Codasys, single or multiple connections. Mitsubishi, Melsec, um, uh, both the, uh, the the 3U and the 5U uh, both give us either single or multiple connection options here. We have options for the Omron Ethernet IP driver, um, single or multiple connections. The Omron Fins driver, single or multiple. Siemens S7 TCP, single or multiple. Or the S7 TIA Profinet driver, which gives us single, multiple, and the runtime tag upload capability. Notice that those options for the other uh, third-party controllers that don't have the um, runtime tag upload then those controllers would be an offline tag import required. And then we do have a, a Modbus driver, either single or multiple connections. That'd be for Modbus TCP. Or lastly, a serial driver, uh, either multiple or single or multiple for such as like a Modbus um, RTU connection. All right, so we got our, uh, we can pick what we need to connect to and how many connections we need to make choose next. And then this brings us to our uh, interoperability section, which is all about OPC UA and MQTT clients um, and servers for OPC UA. So uh, basically, if you're going to be an OPC UA client, then we will choose either single or multiple um, servers. If we're going to be an OPC UA server, then we can choose you know, how many clients are we going to have, be it 1, 3, 5, 10, 20, or the possibility of unlimited, again, using the unlimited license. Uh, if we're going to do MQTT connections, then we have, uh, we have the client. Uh, so basically, if we're going to be a subscriber, it's going to take one token for each client connection. If we're going to be a publisher, it's going to take one token for each client connection. And also what came about in version 1.5 is the embedded MQTT broker. So if we want to be a broker, that will take one token. So the broker shows 1 to 25 clients. That's basically the limit right now is 25 uh, clients max for the broker. So that takes one token. And the other option here is none. So it's just basically not enabled. So as we go through these, uh, all these, um, options here. You choose the features that you're going to need for your application, and then you're going to choose next here at the end, and it kind of summarizes your selections. 
and it gives you the the um, the recommendation for the package. It said that based on what I selected, um, I need seven tokens, and that is a small runtime license. And it even gives you the catalog numbers based on if you're going to be doing um, self assist support Monday Monday through Friday eight to five or twenty four seven support. You get your three catalog numbers for that. Now, um, you can also see how many tokens you're going to need when you're inside of Optic Studio as well. So as if you're developing your application and you don't really know ahead of time some of these things, as you develop your application inside of Op Factor Talk Optic Studio, which is the development tool, it will tell you how many tokens that you would need to, to run that application. So that's a quick summary of the um, of the runtime sizing tool. Again, to get to that, you have to go to Factor Talk Hub, and then once you're at Hub, you go to Optics, and then once you get to the Optics page, you come here to Runtime Sizing.